Wellard, we've got a visitor. Oh, it's Jerkface. Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on, then. I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Of course. Everyone knows that. What's your point? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy task. We still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? Things would be great, things would be just as bad, things would be worse. Nothing would really change. There would still be poor people and suffering. No, I disagree. Things would change for the better at first. But what would happen when a rival nation caught wind of our prosperity and decided we had something they wanted? Um... We would be attacked. Experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellard? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. The aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. In any case, Except I am they can't genuinely afford to. sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information I need. But how? With this. A gold ball on a string? A clever listening device my soothsayer came up with. It was placed in the handle of your crossbow. I have been tracking you in order to ensure I learned the location of Danton's hideout. You've been spying on me this whole time? Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? It was a test of loyalty, and unfortunately, you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government. Alas, I, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. So what, you're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. I find myself going to have her killed. To tie up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. What? Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. Hmm? Tim Bird again. The raven looks like it's trying to get in, but the electrified mesh on the window isn't letting it. Weird. Are his eyes red? Yes, yes they are. You're just now noticing. See, there's a light door, a pile, drain, 
bench, panel. Um, light is not actually an object, so let's go for pile. Most of this stuff is just junk. Hmm, what's this? Huh, looks like the previous occupant at least got a dose of vaccine. Oh well, an empty syringe might be useful in the scrape. Locked up tight. I don't think I'll be getting through there anytime soon. This panel seems to have something to do with the electrified window. Really? Why would that be in this room? buttons or anything I can mess with on it. There is an opening at the bottom, though. It's open. There's some pretty foul-smelling water at the bottom. Ew. Okay, well, is there anything in my inventory? Oh, they left me with the ticket. That's nice. Uh, listening device and syringe. I should get rid of this stupid thing, but maybe it can help me. There's a hole. Interesting. There's a tiny hole at the bottom of the sphere. Tiny hole, you say? Like, you need a needle hmm. for. Let's see if this works. Aha! Interesting. This wire could be helpful, and it makes this thing useless to Tiberius. Seems like a win-win situation. Wait, how big is this wire? A medium length of wire. If worse comes to worse, I could probably just hang myself with it. How? How? How, how did that fit in there? This should fit through the opening at the bottom. There. So can we short it out by kicking it into the water? Hope this works. What are you doing, little guy? Well, I wasn't expecting that. What a smart bird. Right, time to get out of this hellhole. You have sent the soldiers to the market district? Yes, Minister Tiberius. They're heading over as we speak. Excellent. And the spy in the Ministry of Medicine? Taken care of. Good. With regards to Miss Wellard's execution, please be sure to tell the firing squad to aim for the head. Don't drag it out. Yes, Minister Tiberius. Oh, such unpleasantness. I really take no pleasure in having to do this sort of thing. I just hope it will all be over soon. Good evening to you. He actually told them to... He might not be evil, he just might be crazy. When the prison was fully functional, this was probably used to store water. Alright, so there's the water tank, which is... I wonder if that broken. cell gets used. Not much chance of escaping from it. Alright, so the only way is back in. There's a tank. More windows. What is this? It says guard house. Yeah, definitely don't want to go in there. Got a little birdie here. The raven who broke me out of my cell. He looks like he's watching me, waiting for something. So what's the uh? It's big, heavy, and completely broken. It's beyond repair, and the base is screwed into the roof, so I can't push it over. If only I had some way of getting those screws out. Yeah, I don't have anything for that. Ow, that hurt, and it didn't make a very loud noise. Huh? He's not really an astute guard, is he? I must be hearing things. Hmm, so can I do anything with the raven? He's looking right at me, almost like he's waiting for instructions. Point at guard, point at speakers, point at HVAC. Uh, yeah, let's harass the guard. That seems like a great idea. Probably shoot the poor bird. Oh, hey, what's that? Shiny object. Something shiny fell out of the guard's pocket, but I can't tell what it is from up here. 
Um, can we use you again? A small silver coin. I don't think these are particularly valuable. No, but we can use it on this thing, right? There. Should be nice and loose now. I think we're going to kill this guy. Huh? Because he comes right in front of that door, which is like right where this thing is, right? <clears throat> oh. Yeah, no, that's... He's dead. We just murdered somebody. Nobody heard that, but we just murdered somebody. That door goes into the guardhouse. No, let's just get out of here. I hope it's not too late to warn Danton about the attack. You just killed a man in cold blood and you're worried about warning. Oh no, Clem! Amy, is that, that you? Yes, Clem. I'm here. Maz. What's this? It looks like there was a note hidden inside the vase. I E S N H M V U A P O C L B W R tells me nothing. This door is open, though. That tells me everything bad. No. Oh. Are those two skeletons back there? <sighs> At least it looks like they put up a good fight. I just hope Danton managed to escape. I can't even tell who that is. Their face has been mangled so badly. This would be smelling terribly pretty soon. Don't move! I know how to use this thing! Amy? I'd ask you the same thing. What were you thinking? You could have killed me. Sorry. Pretty brutal in here, huh? I couldn't believe how many guards they sent in. Just hand over the crossbow before you have an accident, would you? Okay, fine. Here. The noose that used to be around the dummy's neck. Morbid, but maybe I can use it. Wow, they got him good. What is this guy doing here? Denby? Yeah? What are you doing back there? I'm scavenging, isn't it obvious? No need to snap, Denby. Sorry. It's just that a couple of guards came by the factory and I had to leave, so I've got no place to stay right now. Did they see you? No. I was able to hear them coming and got away. What are you looking for? I heard these rebels had some information on where to get vaccine. And why would that interest you? Um, no reason. Tenby, you can tell me. You know that. Last week, I went into the quarantine zone looking for parts to sell to Gordon and... Well, I thought I'd been careful, but this morning I started coughing up blood. Denby, what the hell? Your mother is going to kill you! Great. It'll save the green lung the trouble. I can still die pretty. If you're desperate, fine. But why on earth did you go into the quarantine zone? Because that's where the best stuff is. Nobody goes in there, so everything in the buildings is more or less intact. It sucks, I know. But I knew the risks going in. How did you manage to get back out? I thought it was designed to keep people in for good. You just have to know where to look. Something tells me that I w <sighs> What's, the What's blackboard? all the stuff on the blackboard? I don't know. It looks like a bunch of scribbles and some pegs. For all I know, it could be some kind of secret code, but I have no idea what it means. Hmm. Where were you when the attack happened? Did you see anything? Not all of it, no. I mean, I saw like the guards walk past and bust down the door, but once the fighting started, I got out of there. Those guys looked like they meant business, and I wasn't going to stick around to see what they were going to do. 
Did you see if Danton managed to escape? Danton? The lady with the cool hat? Yes, that's her. <laughs> it's always that. Yeah, I saw her run outside and kill a couple of guys with her sword. It was awesome. I'm sure it was. Did you see where she went? Nah, she ran off with a couple of guys. I didn't go after them. Well, at least I know she made it out alive. Never mind. I don't think we need this anymore since we got the vaccine, right? I don't see how I can use Denby? Yeah? You're absolutely sure the guards didn't see you back at the factory? Yeah, positive. Why? Here, take this. You have a lottery ticket? Why would you give this away? It's a long story, but let's just say it's no use to me anymore. Hang on, does this mean... Just take the ticket and get out of here, Denby. You've got enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Amy. I wish I had something to repay you with, but all I have are these strings I found back here. It's fine, you don't have to worry about it. Well, I mean, you might as well take them. It's not like I'm really gonna do anything with them. Okay, fine. Worst Thanks, trade Denby. ever. Fuck. Right, so There's a bunch of lines and wooden pegs on it. Peg, um... Wait a second. Is that related to this guy? I-E-S-N-H-M I-E Oh. I-E S N L B uh, H M V U W-R-O-C Milton? Of course! That was the name of the technician in Sector 82. It's a long shot, but it's all I've got. So we're going back to where this all started. This place is really gruesome. Minister Tiberius, I have news. Go on then. The attack on the rebel base was mostly successful. We suffered a few casualties, but we managed to eliminate the majority of the traitors. Mostly successful? Their leader managed to escape with a few others. She's no pushover, that one. Yes, this much was made clear from the start. I suppose this can be considered a small victory. Although the inconvenience of finding Danton again will be great, at least we've managed to quell their growth. Very good. If that is all, you are dismissed. Ah. There is one more thing. Yes? I've just checked with Rockwall, and... The prisoner, Wellard, somehow managed to escape. I see. Call her number. But, Minister Tiberius, will that work? Surely she's not foolish enough to... Whether she is or is not is not of your concern. Just do as I say and call her number. And a word of advice. Question my methods again, and I'll have you hanged from my balcony. Is that clear? He yes, may Mr. actually Tiberius. be evil. It won't happen again. Good. Now of course, why not both? Sight. I'm sorry you had to hear that. 
You know I dislike having to be unpleasant, but sometimes I'm left with no choice. Hush now. Don't worry your sweet little head. You will always be safe, so long as I am here. I really don't want to know what he's talking to anymore. Attention citizens, it is now time for this week's vaccine lottery drawing. We are pleased to announce that the winning ticket number is 3211420. Vaccination may be claimed at Willowdale Plaza, next to the Ministry of Medicine. Congratulations to the winner. I don't believe it. Well, at least Denby will get his vaccine. I don't think he's going to get a vaccine. Well, well. If it isn't Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know how you found us, but you've got a lot of nerve coming back. You've really got the wrong idea. Do I? I'm not so sure of that. I am not a traitor. Please stop denying things. It makes you look even worse. Tiberius destroyed our base and killed several of our people. You're the only person who could have tipped him off. You are nothing more than a liability. I let you go before, but I'm not making the same mistake twice. You're she not is leaving here bloodthirsty. Alive. Sure, blame me. It must be nice to be the leader, being able to blame everyone except yourself. My fault? How can it possibly be my fault? You're the one who asked me to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine. If I hadn't, I never would have been arrested and thrown in prison. Now I'm a fugitive, all because I was trying to help you. They put you in Rockwall? Nobody ever gets out of there. How did you escape? It's a long story. Look, I came here to see if you were still alive. I found your message at the old hideout because I was trying to warn you that Tiberius had located it. He tricked me. I was bugged the whole time. He heard everything. I had no idea. I see. I'm sorry. We've been through so much in such a short amount of time, it's hard to know what to believe. So what did you find out in the Ministry of Medicine? The aristocracy is hoarding vaccine. Crates of it. Enough to treat the whole population. I knew it. Those bastards. Once the public hears about this... Forgive me, Amy. If I had known you were in Rockwall... It's fine. I got out on my own. Next time, if you could stop to ask me questions before trying to kill me, I'd appreciate it. So what now? We need time to think about our next move. This news is a lot to take in. You're free to stay here with us if you need to. I wouldn't go wandering around out there if the aristocracy knows you've escaped from Rockwall. Thanks. I appreciate it. Danton? What is it, Amy? There was so much vaccine. How long do you think they've been hoarding it? I don't know, but any amount of time is too long. But at least now, we have the information we need to bring about some real changes. So, considering I almost died finding all this out, is there anything we can actually do? For now, I'm not sure. This is a fairly important bit of information we have. One option would be to somehow hack into the government PA system and spread the word that way. It would definitely be a welcome change from all those annoying propaganda messages and rigged lottery announcements. The only rigged? issue we face is getting some sort of proof to back up our claims. Yeah, I think no. That will have he, to be our Denby's, next course of action. Denby's dead. Wait a minute. The lottery is rigged? Are you positive? Yes. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the vaccine hoarding isn't the first secret the government has been keeping. The aristocracy knows exactly who is assigned to each ticket and can keep tabs on them if the need arises. Why didn't you mention this earlier? You knew I had a ticket! Yes, I know and I'm sorry. I didn't think you were in danger until we were attacked. Oh no. Denby! What? I gave my ticket to my friend Denby. They called my number just before I came down here. Crafty bastards. They probably figured you'd give your ticket away. If someone else shows up to claim the vaccine, they'll take him in for interrogation to find out where he got it from. I have to stop him before he gets to Willowdale Plaza. 
You plan to enter that nest of vipers? I do. I don't suppose you'd care to help. We've taken a heavy hit. I'm sorry, but I just can't spare anyone right now. I figured as much. It's fine. I can handle this on my own. Godspeed, Amy. I hope you manage to get to him before the aristocracy does. I wouldn't wish a government interrogation on anyone. She's really jumped in, hasn't she? Yes. We could use more people like her. I just hope she knows what she's doing. Nope. Damn it. I'm too late. Maybe I can still get to him before they do anything too drastic. extends pretty far out. It almost reaches that balcony on the second floor. Let's see, can we do a right. rope on this a... should work. Hey, we're good. My trusty crossbow. I've got one bolt. I All really right. hope this holds. Honestly, I don't think it would, but that's pretty, pretty cool solution. Why are you doing this to me? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm afraid your assessment is not entirely correct, young man. I should have known this was Tiberius' doing. Where is he hiding? They're torturing You him. had in your possession a ticket for the vaccine lottery, which was not issued to you. We cannot have the order of our system disrupted by people stealing tickets from those who earned them fairly. I didn't steal it! Then perhaps you would care to clarify how you came to have it. And please keep in mind that we value the truth above all else here. Lying will have severe consequences. I, I found it. You found it? Yeah, in the place you guys raided in the market district. Hmm. It looks as though we will be here for some time still. Alphonse? Ah! Perhaps you'd care to tell me the truth this time. I quite hate having to do this. I can't just stand here and watch this. I need to help Denby, but how? I only have one I bolt. I am telling you the truth. I, I got it in the rebel headquarters after I you kill him, guys just... raided it. Can you let me go now? You can shoot Denby. I would love to let you go. I really would. However, you are remitting the fact that you have had multiple contacts with Amy Wellard, a known rebel and the person who gave you that ticket. Oh, God, Denby. I'm so sorry. Ah, it seems Miss Wellard met my expectations after all. Quite noble of you to put the boy out of his misery, Miss Wellard. A true mark of your character. A shame no one can do the same for you. Now, please, don't try anything foolish. I don't want any more bloodshed if I can avoid it. Going somewhere? Yes, and you're in my way. You really are a feisty one. I have no ammo in my crossbow. I'm out of bolts. Stab him with a needle? <laughs> oh! Oh, he got me though. And fade to black. <laughs>